How do y'all look like slimes? I think it's time to play a little Seven Days to Die. All right. So uh, we had a pretty good run through uh, last episode with the crack of books, and I put together my bike. Although it is not a great bike. Uh, <laughs> 25 is as good as I can make. So. It's got a 25 chassis, a 25 handlebars, 25 seat. I found some good tires, good battery, pretty good engine. I don't think shopping basket quality matters. Uh, I put a ladder on the outside of this building so I can stop having to run around in the inside. Which makes my life a little, little easier. Oh man, I'm hungry. I don't think I... Oh, I made my workbench. Uh... I don't know that I have any food. Food is a priority. I found another one. I used up all the gas on my chainsaw. Uh, you know what this needs is a sort button. Because I'm lazy. I don't need this. I got tons of water. Uh, let's go. Oh, that is already set, it looks like. Uh, I don't think I have any food of any kind, so let's go ahead and get, uh, go get some food. Somewhere. Here it is. I plan on, uh, breaking more of this down, but, oof, it's, uh, it's like 3,000 durability to break through. Ooh, don't fall off the side there, buddy. Uh, actually... Go ahead and take a pill here. Oh, I've got uh, my iron chest and iron gloves. Maybe iron arms. What did I put on? Uh, oh yeah, chest and chest and gloves. I couldn't remember. Uh, and then I want to head back to back to the old town here, because I think there's a Shamway over here. Uh, I already searched the Shamway, though, didn't I? Or... Hmm... Problem is I play two different games of Seven Days to Die now. I don't remember which is which. Uh... Yeah, it was, uh... <laughs> I was hoping to get this recorded way earlier, but, uh... It was weird, uh... One of the people here, they uh, got a mail-in ballot. And, uh, for the upcoming elections, and the... Because I live in the middle of nowhere, the township clerk brought it directly to our house. Uh, instead of mailing it to us. And, uh... So... Uh... We were discussing what was on the ballot for the last hour or so. Uh, yeah, it is a shamway right here. Oh man, it's so much better with the bike. Pretty sure I already looted this place, right? Like I've already done up all the... Oh no! Never been searched. There's food. Awesome. some points up in the old food here. What about this? These have been searched. That got searched. That got searched. Oh, I remember going into the pharmacy. That's weird. I didn't hit that one box. Nope. Search that. Search that. Searched. 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 Okay. Uh, all right. Now, I should probably put together a new bedroll. Uh, I've been fielding questions on uh, our D&D &D game tomorrow night. Um, not a lot's gone down in our play-by-post game. Uh, oh, you know, I was going to make a new one of these. I guess I'll just repair this. And... Um, but our DM let us have control over some of the characters, and uh, since they kind of use my 
D D Beyond account for stuff. Okay, I think I've been in here then. Uh Nope. Weird. Maybe I fought zombies who came out of here. Nail gun frame. Yeah, because I haven't actually looted this place. Alright, we'll start with this uh, working stiff. Ooh, nails, love nails, rebar frames, useful. Hubcaps, not so much. Um, but, uh, yeah, so the one guy who's uh, running the, uh, the one character, he was asking me to give him control over one of the NPCs. Uh, so we'll have to We'll have to see if the DM relinquishes the character sheet uh, for the said NPC. Because I'm not DMing the game, it's just on my account. Um, so since it's the DM's con character, I can look at the character sheet, I can control the character sheet, but I can't control who owns the character sheet. I can just remove it from the campaign. Uh, so. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, I'm pretty excited about tomorrow night's game. Uh, we are facing off against a creature. I'm pretty sure we can't defeat one-on-one. -on -one, uh, but it has been under attack by other people, so it's going to depend on how much damage it's already taken. Uh, and how much help we get from what's going on around it. It's an ancient red dragon, and uh, it, uh, it's a super dangerous creature. And it's way more powerful than we are. But we're on an airship, and I'm hoping the airships will do a ton of damage, if not most of the damage. I had originally wanted to steal an airship and crash it into it and try to force it to the ground. Uh, but then when we reached the city, it was already already under attack. I was kind of hoping to find a mining helmet in here. That'd be super helpful. I don't know if you get mining helmets from the working stiff, but I desperately need one. More nails. When I finally decide where my main base is going to be, because uh, the one I got now I don't think is going to be my main base. It could be, I guess. It's a pretty big open area on top of there. Um, but I feel like we're too far out on the edge for it to be useful, and I need to get more central. Uh, so once I... Once I get a little more centralized, I can lay out a base then that will be more in keeping with, uh, guess we'll take that one this just in case. Ooh, this is... This is wide open. That guy is too dumb to come around the corner. Oop, and I'm too dumb to load my crossbow. I feel like that should have hit, and I don't think it did. All right. Uh, the other thing, I have made it to the end of Season 8 of The Walking Dead. Um, man, you know, I, I know I've talked about it, but I really I really don't like their stories of redemption. Uh, I already got that one. I just... I feel like some of those people should have been dead. Uh, I, I get it. I get why they get to redeem themselves, but man, uh, 
I don't think this story goes quite the same way. Oh, spectacular. A tool and die set? Those are so rare. I can't believe I found one in my first working stiff. That is spectacular. This is going to take forever. Uh, but, uh, so Morgan, Morgan, of course, is, as I've discussed, one of my least favorite characters who should be cool, but definitely isn't. And uh, I love the actor, uh, but I hate his character. And uh, I really, really hate his character. I've seen him in other stuff. He's a really good actor. And he does a great job portraying Morgan, but man, I hate Morgan. Because uh, even even at the end of all of this, uh, you know, end of season eight, he still is all over the place. And, um, uh, like, he leaves his stick behind at one point. Mr. I can't kill anybody because that's what I believe is that you shouldn't kill anybody. Uh, leaves his stick and takes a gun and starts shooting people. And, uh, and then he, uh, decides that, oh, well, I can kill people now. And, uh, and then carves the end of his stick into a spear. Uh, well, a pointy end. It's not really a spear. And then starts killing people, uh, with his stick. In fact, I, if I remember correctly, there's a scene where he jabs the guy in the guts and then sticks his hand in the hole and pulls the dude's intestines out. Because um, Morgan is crazy. And then, his excuse. His excuse. I'm just not right. I'm just not right. He looks at people after he does something horrible like that. I'm just not right. Uh, dude, you're beyond not right. You're just not a great person. You're too full of excuses. And you're sanctimonious when you make a choice and then everybody's got to make that same choice uh it's like people with uh, food peculiarities not peculiarities that's not the word i want food choices food food it's a word i want uh like i don't like tomatoes right so i don't want to eat anything with a uh, tomato in it. And I don't mean tomato sauce. I don't mean salsa. I don't know why I can handle salsa, but anything that's got just chunks of tomato in it, I don't like. I have spaghetti, and all the spaghetti sauce now in existence is chunky spaghetti sauce. And uh, I hate it. And so when I eat spaghetti, I have to pick out the little chunks of tomato because I don't like the taste of tomato. Tomato sauce, I'm fine with. If you grind it up with all the spices and stuff so it doesn't taste like tomato, I'm fine with that. Ketchup, I'm fine with ketchup. Salsa, it's fine. It doesn't taste like a tomato. But a tomato, ugh. Um. Alright, this, this is the other place I haven't been to because there's all the doors are open, man. Because uh, I didn't want to search this place, but I've been having really good luck with my searches. So, I kind of want to... can't see that guy's head. Oh! I kind of wanted to wait until I was higher on my scavenging, but I'm having such good luck that I think I'm going to risk it. Uh, but yeah, and then he fights Jesus, uh, one of the characters on there. Not, like, Jesus, but, uh, Paul, I think his name is. And, um, everybody calls him Jesus, though, because he kind of looks like Jesus. He doesn't really look like Jesus. He looks like the American version of Jesus, I guess you'd say. Uh, oh, totally don't know why he didn't attack me. Um, but, uh, 
Oof, they busted a hole through the wall and everything. So, uh... He tries to kill Jesus. It was... I kind of rolled my eyes at that scene. Um, because... Like, they got two two characters on the show who are kind of kung fu, right? Uh, Morgan, who's a keto, and Jesus, who is, I don't know what he is, uh, kung fu. And uh, they had them fight, of course. Of course they had them fight. And, um, and then Jesus, he beats Morgan. Uh... Basically, just stops Morgan from killing him. It's not like Jesus was trying to trying to hurt him. Uh, Morgan was trying to kill Jesus, though. And then Jesus, like, all right, look, man. How about how about you use the blunt end on people and the pointy end on the dead? All right, let's try that. And so Morgan tries that. And I'm like, oh, so, finally, after eight seasons, well, seven-ish seasons, I forget when Morgan comes back the second time, um, he's finally going to try a balance between killing and not killing? Smart. I don't like, I can't really see this guy's head. Yep. Weird. That guy just left. I shot him in the head with an arrow, and he decides to leave instead. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Oop. And then my bad aim. All right. We'll do it your way. Let's shoot you in the belly. Um, and then, uh, man, I, I don't think any character on this show, though, has made me as mad as Eugene. Um, wow. Wow. Just, wow. Uh, and then, of course, he gets a straight-up redemption story, right? Oh, well, look, he made it so all the bullets would explode. Oh, yeah, spoilers, I guess, if you haven't finished season eight. Took me long enough. Uh, man. I guess I'll throw away these wooden frames. I really should just go out to the bike, right, and put stuff away and then I'll come back and um, but man that dude I wish Rosita had put a bullet in him uh, I wish Rosita had put a bullet in him <laughs> mm, even more than Morgan like Morgan need to be put down because he's crazy and he's not trustworthy but Eugene straight up betrayed them and, uh, oh man, I could use those. Okay, let's see. Almost shift click that in there. Definitely don't need to carry that around. I have a wrench on me already. Okay, there we go. Uh, but man, Eugene just like rolled over for Negan and showed his belly. I know that's what his character is, but you'd think that when your friends come, 
that, uh, you know, and they're like, hey, we're getting you out of here, that you would go with him. I mean, right? He He's the guy that rolls over and shows his belly like a like a dog. And uh, so you'd think he'd be all over that. Oh, my friends have got me. I can go. I'll go with them because they're telling me what to do now. But no, no, he didn't roll over. He sided with Negan. He sided with Negan. <laughs> I'm just like, are you kidding me? I don't believe it went like that in the comic book. Although, I have some uh, things don't happen the way your brain remembers issues with books. Uh, I know they, they talk about like the Mandela effect, right? You ever heard about the Mandela effect? Well, you know what? I have that when it comes to books. <gasps> Sniper rifle parts. I'm keeping those. Um... I uh, and the Walking Dead comic book is one of my Mandela Effect books. All right, I want to trade those in. I guess I could trade in these other ones, but I think I'm just gonna scrap them for part or for metal. Uh, I distinctly, distinctly remember in the Walking Dead comic book that uh. They fight it out with Negan at the, uh, at the smeltery, uh, where Negan's base is, and, uh, him and Rick fight it out, like, fist to fist, and, uh, and Negan gets away. And Negan is back at his base with his people, with the saviors, and they are they are gearing up to strike back against Alexandria. And Rick leads the giant horde to the smeltery um, and opens the gates and just lets the horde in. Uh, and that was how they defeated Negan. Uh, because then they got inside the smeltery and killed everybody. And that is not what happens. That is not what happens. But I distinctly remember reading those. I can still remember the images in the comic <laughs> of, uh, Negan realizing that the horde is inside his walls and the scene of Rick, uh, all bandaged up uh, with his hat on, uh, which I know Carl wears in the in the show, but I believe Rick wears it in the comic. Uh, ooh, we can keep that too because I might be able to use that later. And um, but yeah, that doesn't happen. That is not a thing. Just in my head, just in my head, is that a thing? And it's it's one of the weird ones. Uh, one of the other times um, uh, I can remember. There's a scene in a, a book series where uh, it's a fantasy book series called The Belgarad. And um, there's a dude that can talk to horses, sort of. And there's uh, his friend is a giant berserker guy. And uh, the berserker guy doesn't like to ride horses because he feels bad for them. And so uh, I remember, whoop, I drove right into that because I was looking elsewhere. Uh, I remember uh, in the book, um, what are we doing? We got to go backwards, backwards, up and out of this hole. There you go. Uh, I remember in the book, the uh, horse rolls its eyes and... Um, the horse guy laughs uh, because what the horse said and the um, the berserker guy makes the horse guy tell him what the horse said. Not in the book. Not in the book. But I distinctly remember that part and had told people that that was my favorite part in the book. And it's not in the book. <laughs> uh... All right, let's see. We got a good, other good place out through here. 
that I should loot. Uh, sometimes you can get some alright stuff in the pawn shop here, but it's super... Oh, that's a laundromat anyways. That's not the pawn shop. And that's a great place to get metal. Uh, and I did the crack -a book building there. Is that the crack -a book building? Uh, looks like I haven't done the passing gas, though. And I should stop and get the fuel from this place. But, uh, yeah, I just, I am shocked at how, how much Eugene sided with Negan over the course of Season 8. I was... <sighs> And it wasn't like, uh, oh no, Eugene and Rosita and Daryl almost got away, and then, you know, Eugene hurt himself, so he went with Negan's people. No, no, Eugene, Eugene hid himself so that Daryl and Rosita couldn't find him, so that Negan's people could take him back, because he liked Negan's way better than... Rick's way, I guess. I don't know. And I don't care that he saved them in the end. He still betrayed them. And if he... Rosita pointed it out. If Dare or if Eugene had been killed, Rick's original plan would have worked. And most of the people who got killed would not have died. Uh... After the well, the people who died after the saviors got back out of the prison of the horde that Rick put them in. Uh, what is going on with my stamina? I am overheating because this game is dumb. I was collecting the uh, the yucca juice because the yucca juice cools you down. You get a cool drink buff. I'm gonna have to go get some more. Oh man! Get some more here in a minute. Uh. But yeah, I was just I was I was so shocked that he he went back to Negan and then he's making Negan all these bullets and uh and it's not until it's not until the priest shows up and guilts him into helping Rick and his people that Eugene flips sides back and <sighs> See, pretty sure in the book uh he makes bullets for Rick. Uh, which he did not do in the in the uh, series, the TV show. Because TV show and the the comic are different. Um, there's some, like I don't remember the hospital being in the comic. Um, I've not started season nine yet. Uh, I do. I do. Uh, I get why they kept Negan alive. Uh, I guess I don't have a problem with that. Um, although, <laughs> honestly, Gabriel and Eugene and... Uh, I don't remember who else there was. Uh, Morgan. Uh, all those guys got redemption stories. And I'm not sure that it made the show any better. Uh, although Eugene, Eugene might be terrible, uh, you know, when they come back. Um, interesting to note was uh, they had a scene with uh, uh, Gabriel and the radio, and um, uh, but it didn't go anywhere, and I kind of expected them to pick up on the current storyline in the comic book, which is uh, 
that contacted another large settlement. I, I actually think I might have missed an issue or two because I'm not sure how they got to where they're at and I'm going to have to go back and reread through them. Uh, I do know that Eugene... Uh, there's another attack coming uh, if they follow anywhere near the comic book that I've been waiting for, which is the Whispered. Although that is going to be an interesting change um, because Carl plays a pretty important part in the Whispered, and Carl is no longer alive. Uh, and uh, I liked Carl's death. Uh, I felt he had probably one of the best reasoned deaths in the series. Um, uh, and uh, uh, I really liked when he confronted Negan and offered to die in place of uh, Alexandria. And, uh, uh, you know, and then he kind of... Uh, uh, I mean, Rick used him to uh, trick... Negan into um, that's my base right there into uh, losing the fight <laughs> and um, okay now what I want to know is if I go straight from here am I going to hit that road I should go south from here and then take this road here to the whatever direction that is, east, west. And then I can take the next road north to my base. Yeah, 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 I'm always overheating, I know. Oh, this is interesting. Hmm... This is a problematic trip to the east. Where's the path north? Or am I not looking at a path? Am I looking at the edge of the... No, there is a path right here. I wonder where that goes then. Because obviously my road trick here is not going to work. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to Season 9. Uh, I have uh, four episodes recorded so far uh, so I probably should get on those pretty quick um, since I am caught up to the current season and uh, I uh, yeah I don't know if they're going with the whispers next uh, which I loved the whispers may be my favorite storyline in the comic book um, and uh, there it was a uh, uh, there's an interesting thing in there with uh, uh, Enid and Carl and uh, this new girl. Uh, I don't remember what her name is because it's been a long time since I read through the Whisper storyline. But uh, you know, Carl's super super ashamed of his um, deformity from being shot in the face, and uh, and so there. They, uh, he rescues this girl from the Whispers, who I believe helps them defeat the Whispers. Like I said, it's been a long time, and I only read through the storyline once. Um, the Whispers are uh, people who live amongst the dead. Uh, like, they, they wear skin and stuff, and uh, travel with the herd. And... Um, there's my entrance. Uh, Alright, let's go get some juice here since it's complaining so much. Uh, and so uh, uh, it's, it's because she has been raised with the whispers uh, well not raised but over the last however long it's been um, uh, she's kind of into Carl's deformity because it makes him seem more like one of the dead. And uh, so I know him and Enid and this girl have big disagreements over a lot of stuff. Um, I don't remember what her name is, though. 
But that's not going to happen now, because Carl's dead. That's all right. Uh, it wasn't too integral, I don't think. I just hope they have the whispers, because uh, I really like that storyline. They were crazy people. Uh, they were super crazy people. Like, if I remember right, they like they don't talk. Um, they eat whatever they come across. Uh, uh, I don't know how much they direct their herd, but they do live inside of, like, that giant herd they showed uh, at the end of Season 8. I don't know if they're inside that herd, though, because I have not started Season 9. Um... Uh, cause I just, I remember, uh, provided I remember correctly, there's a scene where, um, they freak out because the dead do something, uh, like use a gun or something. Um, but it's not really the dead, it's the whispers. Uh, but, uh, all right, well, uh, that wasn't a bad haul. Uh, it's gonna take me a couple of couple of trips to get all this stuff back up to the top of my base here. Uh, like I said, I think this is too off the edge because this is the bottom corner, I believe, of the map right here. So I need to be somewhere more uh, somewhere more. Somewhere more in here. Somewhere more in there is where I need my base. The center of the map. And I am not at the center at the moment, so... Uh, where's my... Uh, I definitely need to get out of this desert, so I might just try to get over there next time. See if we can find a path out of the desert. And so please, it's more hospitable that I don't melt constantly. Although I don't want to go in the upper right-hand corner if it's still a frozen wasteland, because I don't want to be cold either. Alright, with that, click like, like, subscribe, to your coach the next one, and I will talk to you later.